The global positioning system is basically a big clock in space. Each satellite carries an atomic clock. There are 30 GPS satellites in orbit that just broadcast where they are and what time it is. All your phone GPS has to do is receive the signals from four satellites and it can triangulate its position in the four positions in which we live, the three dimensions of space and one variable, time. But it is not that simple. In order for the to work, the global positioning system has to allow for the effect of relativity. Special relativity tells us that moving clocks run slow and general relativity tells us that clocks run faster, higher in the gravitational field. These effects don't just cancel out. General relativity wins out and time does indeed run faster up in orbit with the satellites. This video explains a reason why we have these effects and why time is so important not just in navigation but in every aspect of our lives. In this theory the quantum of quantum mechanics is a unit of energy that we see and feel as the flow of time itself. Time is continuously being formed photon by photon by the spontaneous absorption and emission of light waves of electromagnetic radiation, a process of continuous change, continuous energy exchange, forming the future uncertainty of everyday life. This uncertainty can be seen mathematically as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum physics. This might sound mad, but the probability function that forms the uncertainty principle also forms the movement of electric charge, forming the flow of electric current with electrical potential. In this theory, electrical potential and the individual's future potential are the same within their own reference frame. The most advanced part of this universal process is in the form of electrical activity in the brain being able to comprehend and measure this process as the flow of time with a past and uncertain future. This process is totally universal and interactive from the largest object to the smallest creature right down to the smallest element of the periodic table will slow the rate that time flows forming a curvature of space-time relative to its own energy or mass. If our eyes were more sensitive to the different wavelengths of light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic light waves continuously. This forms a great dance of energy exchange, forming a process of spontaneous and continuous change that we see and feel as the aging process and as the flow of time itself. In this theory, gravity is a secondary force to the electromagnetic force. Objects just free fall towards the greatest mass or energy because it has the slowest rate that time flows. The second law of thermodynamics falls out of this theory. The organization for the spontaneous disorganization of entropy is formed by the spherical symmetry of the quantum wave particle function. The spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms the flow of time with photon energy cascading down forming greater degrees of freedom for the flow of entropy. We have an infinite number of reference frames within our universe and because light has momentum and momentum is frame dependent each object or observer will have their own reference frame with their own future uncertainty as time unfolds photon by photon. Therefore an observer can look back in time at the beauty of the stars in all directions from the centre of their own reference frame. This is because they are forming their own space-time by collapsing the waves of light into new photon oscillations forming their own future potential. An artist will take energy and time to create a work of art because the atoms of the hand and eye have bonded together forming the movement of electric charge creating their own potential future. Creation is truly in the hand and eye of the beholder in this theory.